Good morning. So we are renovating a 1899 house and we are trying to make sure that the house is stripped back to absolute bare walls. The purpose of this is that the limestone and the limestone render that it was originally made with can breathe. Breathability is so important and that's why we get so much damp in old houses because we put modern plaster over old walls. Um, as you can see here behind me, we have stripped back our original walls completely to try and get the walls spread. We are now restudding the walls, as can be seen behind. And behind that, there will be an inch or two of breathable space so that the house can breathe continually while we live nice and warmly. So we have designed it in such a way. I'll just turn the camera one second. If I can so anyway I can so uh, we've designed it in such a way that basically the walls that you see here will breathe from the ground this is upstairs right up into the eaves and out into what was the old attic so you can see the old attic here quite clearly and the air will circulate up into that space and out through vents and then it will continually breed and we will no longer have any damp or potential damp in these walls. Now we're then backing it with a breathable backing and a spray foam which you'll see at a later stage. Now the only thing we've come across in this house so far is a small amount of what I finally found out is dry rot. Now dry rot is caused by what they call cellar fungus which I'll show you a picture of after because it took me quite a bit of research to figure out what exactly we had, what the causes were and how to kill it without spending 10,000. So I'm currently making sure that I'm prepping actually and spraying for my dry rot. I've bought a product called Biocide Masonry, cost me about 100 euros, uh, including delivery. And I am mixing it, the 100 euro bottle, which is I'll give you the exact on it after it makes 25 litres and I am spraying all of the walls at the moment and any timbers which there's very little of because we've replaced most of it uh, all the other timbers are unaffected but I'm still spraying them as a precautionary measure now I'm just after doing the upstairs of the house so you can probably see that the walls are still a bit wet just bear with me 